Hi everyone, we're looking at number 22 on page 301. ABCD is a trapezoid whose diagonals AC and BD intersect at the point E. If vector AB equals to 2 over 3 times vector DC, prove that vector AE equals to 3 over 5 times vector AB plus 2 over 5 times vector AD. So there are a couple of steps here, and the first step you want to think about is the trapezoid property. And what that really means is given any trapezoid, if you pretend that the ratio of AB to DC is one or two, this also implies that the ratio of BE to ED is one to two. And likewise, the ratio of AE to EC is also one to two. And of course, it doesn't have to be one to two. If you want to change these numbers, for example, one to five, is the same idea. So in general, if you think about the uh, ratio of the top and the bottom, let's say this is m to n. Likewise, this is m to n, m to n. And that's one of the most important steps behind number 22. So let's write this down. So the two major thoughts, and I'm going to write down both of them in two different columns. So the one we just mentioned is going to be actually in the second column, which I'll get back to. Let's start with the given. So right now we know that AB equals to 2 over 3 DC, or 3 over 2 AB equals 2 DC. And again, what you can do is go back to the diagram, label this. If you look at the bottom, DC, which is the longer side, this equals to 3 over 2 times AB. So if you circle back to the first step that I was mentioning, this implies that the ratio of AB to DC is 1 to 1 and a half, or 3 over 2. And likewise, you can write down 1 and 3 over 2. 1 and 3 over 2. However, only two of these are valuable. So I'm going to go back to these two, and you see why this all makes sense in a moment. One of the most important questions you have to ask yourself is, how do I know what I'm doing? What is my goal? Am I getting closer or am I moving further away? So if you look at this statement, what this implies is that if you compare AE to EC, some will say that 3 over 2 times AE equals to 1 times EC. For others, you might look at this and say AE equals to 2 over 3 EC. Now, the second step is to begin with the end in mind, and your goal really is to prove that AE equals to 3 over 5 AB plus 2 over 5 AD. So you go back and you look at the trapezoid, and you're thinking, what can I write down that is meaningful? Now, there are actually three statements that are mathematically true, and I want to write them down. Then I'll talk about which two are the most meaningful and which one is less meaningful. So, for example, your whole goal is to express AE. Now, you can't write down AE yet. What you can do, though, is write down AC. So I'm going to write down AC. And again, if you look at the uh, trapezoid, one statement is AC equals to AE plus EC. So again, AC equals to AE plus EC. Another statement you could think of would be AC equals to AD plus DC. And again, if you look at the uh, trapezoid, AC equals to AD plus DC. Now, the third statement, which is also true, is that AC equals to AB plus BC. Now, even though all three statements are true, only two of them are meaningful. And this, perhaps, is the most important part of the entire problem. The rest will work out step by step. Your goal is to express AE in terms of AB and AD. So if you look at the first statement, we have AC, which equals to AE plus EC. And you want AE. That's what you want. That's what you're going to show. So this statement is going to be meaningful. Now, likewise, if you look at the second statement, AC equals to AD plus DC. 
you want AD, you have AD, so this is also going to be meaningful. However, right, if you look at the last statement, even though you look at this and you're saying, oh, AC equals to AB plus BC, and I have AB, won't this be also useful? Well, the problem is you have to look at BC. And if you go back to the thought process, you do not see BC anywhere in the two columns. So the last statement is going to be less meaningful. So we're going to stick with the first two. And this one we're going to dismiss. Now, AC equals to AC. And what this means is you can look at the first two statements, copy one of them on the left-hand side, and copy the second one on the right-hand side. Again, begin with the end in mind. Your goal is to express this in terms of AE. This means I'm going to copy AE. Now, we don't have EC in the final statement, so you have to go back and think about another way of expressing EC. So EC is equal to 3 over 2 times AE. Again, this makes sense for two reasons. One, we got rid of EC. And the second, you have AE, which is exactly what you're looking for. Now, likewise, if you look at the right-hand side, you copy down AD. And we copy this because you have AD in your final statement. When you look at DC, again, we don't want DC at the end. But what you can do is go back and think of a different way to express DC. And DC equals to 3 over 2 AB. So now, the hard part's over. 1 plus 3 over 2, it's 1 plus 1 and a half, or 2 and a half. 2 and a half is the same as 5 over 2 times AE. The right-hand side, we're going to copy. And in a moment, you have to remember that the opposite of multiplying by 5 over 2 is to divide by 5 over 2. And again, when you're dividing by a fraction, it's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So when you're dividing by 5 over 2, you're really multiplying by 2 over 5 times AD. Likewise, you're multiplying by 2 over 5 times 3 over 2 AB. Here comes the final answer. Therefore, AE equals to 2 over 5 AD plus 2 divided by 2 is 1. This becomes 3 divided by 5 times AB. I hope this makes sense.